You stay to the right, and there's about, I think, 26 steps. I'm not sure. And you've got to watch your head at the top of the yellow tape. Yep. Now, when you get to here, watch your head, because it's very low. Scott family coming to you live from a lighthouse. Ontonagon oh, yeah. Light. It's the Ontonagon Light. And we just got finished with the tour of this awesome lighthouse behind us, and it was really fun. It was really yeah. cool. It's, yeah. it's different from all the other lighthouses that we've seen. Uh, you've actually seen most of them with us uh, <laughs> because it's not on an ocean. So it's more of a house with a light on it. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to a big tower with this tiny little building at the bottom. So. But it was like a really cool old house like it was yeah awesome. it was really cool um i guess they call this a school style lighthouse mm -hmm. um which i thought was interesting yeah but as you can see the light's not very tall it's not very big um it only reaches actually about 11 miles out it uses a fresnel fifth order lens i listened during the tour. wow very, very nice. good listening <laughs> write that down um but did the children listen yeah. I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> oh, well, that's great. I'm just like, shut up! <laughs> but you had a good time, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes, yeah, so we got to take a bunch of cool pictures, um, see all the bedrooms that people slept in, mm -hmm. the dining room, the kitchen. Um, what else did we see? The storage room. Uh -huh. We got to go up into the actual light itself. And I know Racy took a bunch of cool pictures, and, and Christy took some pictures, and I even took one too, I think. Yeah, it was really cool. And yeah. the old telephone works. Oh, the old yeah, telephone the old telephone still works. works. That was really cool. I loved the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen was I thought, really like, cool. the stove and then that cool piece of furniture with the... That's, like, smart. What was that called? Oh, the Hoosier cabinet? The Hoosier cabinet with Hoosier. the thing that pulls Hoosier. out and you Hoosier. can have extra room for baking and cooking there. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty Very awesome. Cool. So it's also Very interesting cool. how people talk here on the UP. Because they're <laughs> upers. They say da a lot. Like, you know, the Hoosier cabinet. And... Stuff like that. And I yeah. don't want to go too far because I don't want to offend anybody. No, but it's cool. We but love, it's cool. The kids were saying they love hearing all the different accents, all the places that we go. All over the country. She's getting good material. Right? Yeah. She's getting good at accents, guys. She really is. She's like her dad. It's me. We're getting Do good you at accents. Right? Right. No. <laughs> yeah. You can't put people under pressure like that. Yeah. It just has to come out when yeah, she's it's ready. It's got to be natural. It's got to flow. <laughs> so, yes, Ontonagon Light in Ontonagon, Michigan. Very cool. Very cool tour. Uh, who was our tour guide? Terry? Terry. Okay. Terry and it was very, very inexpensive. Yeah, it was only, uh, it was $5 each for adults and then a dollar each for children under 16. Yeah. So for 12 so. bucks, our little foursome here got to come and do yep. this little tour. They really liked it, I think. I had a good yeah. time. Connor seems to really like the historical stuff that we go and do. Yep. He's like, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> when we were going up to the land. Which is kind of a change from last year, which is really really cool yeah so he's taking an appreciation in things and i can enjoy that yeah it's awesome plus he likes bacon a lot oh yeah bacon i love bacon, <laughs> bacon, bacon i like bacon. the history of bacon too bacon bacon mm. bacon. bacon bacon okay so with that <laughs> i think we will be moving on now and yeah bye guys bye <laughs> awesome. how does she always get the piggyback rides Neither of us ever do. Yeah. What's up with that? I don't know. I'm way too heavy. Oh, really? Is that the problem? Yeah. Hmm. I don't he know. Might break his back. I don't know. So you had a good time, Bubba? Yep. Good. This is fun. I thought it was pretty cool. 
What kind of information are you privy to? I don't know, but apparently this is the philosophy outpost. Oh, really? <laughs> is that kind of like the epiphany it toilet? Opens. It opens. Where did they have corn? It's potpourri. Why did butt with it? <laughs> I don't know why they have corn. Probably. There's a big hole and a small hole. For adults and children. For adults and children. Great idea. Imagine having to come out here at like 2 o'clock in the morning in the middle of winter. And poop next to each other? And poop next to each other? Yeah, that would suck. Hey, Connor, pass me the TV. <laughs> I missed it. I was trying. My phone was not. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Papa Bear can sing. Now just say Jack like 180 million times and you've got a movie. Jack, 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 Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a song. Jack, 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 Jack. Well, really it's, called, it's called the Titanic song. She's like, they have a cut or no touch me. <laughs> I thought he was going to... <laughs> Go turn the wheel. See if the rudder works. Okay. Okay.